Hey y'all, it's Kathy Jo. How are you doing? I hope y'all are doing great. I hope y'all having a wonderful, well, weekend because, you all know, I gotta take these glasses off though. Okay, I know this video is long and I have a lot of DIYs. Maybe I need to start doing less DIYs. I think when I get creating, I just create and create and create and I can't stop myself. So, um, maybe I need to figure something out. Sorry, y'all. So, I'll try to shorten the videos. But, um, I want y'all to stay tuned. We did draw a new winner for the calendars. I believe it was Cheryl Tucker. Um, and, yeah, stay tuned because I have more sets. And I plan on giving them away. And thank you all for uh, going over 16,000. It, it just means so much to me. I never, ever dreamed and not in this lifetime that that would ever happen. And it's all because y'all. Now, you know I'm going to start crying. But I do love y'all. And I feel truly, truly blessed. And um, y'all mean so much to me. And when you tell me you love me and I say I love you more, I mean that. I truly mean that. Um, I just got one thing left to say, y'all. Let's get on with the video. Okay, y'all. Right here, I got one of those pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. Now, that one was from last year, and I needed kind of a bigger base. If y'all use those orange ones that they have, it says thankful all the time. I believe that's what they say, thankful and blessed. See the different sides. The other one was from this year. Even the blessed word was bigger. So, of course, I'm going to take that mess off of it. And y'all know, always, I sand down the sides because paper hangs over, and I hate that. I hate it. So, anyway, I'm going to paint the entire thing in cashew chalk paint by Waverly. Now, I got those beads from Dollar Tree, y'all. Now, remember, I drove, like, a long way to get those at a Dollar Tree. That Mine don't have that stuff around here, or it doesn't. It gets sold out fast. But I'm going to take out home decor um, wood tent by Folk uh, or home decor. I don't know. It's all. And those... We're from Christmas, like two years ago, those beads. I've been working on those things. I mean, I'm telling you. And I'm going to take that spray paint, um, satin terracotta cryline. I only have that because I got I paid $2 for it, and I love the color. But anyway, so I'm going to take my jeep there. Now, that one's from Walmart. It's a bit thicker. And I'm going to run it around my peduncle. I believe that's what Bree, Bree said it was called. And um, just um, wrap it. And I wanted it to go down low. Y'all will see in a minute. But when you come to the end, like, uh, glue that piece right there at the top, and you've got a little tiny hole, like, gap there. I'm showing y'all, because apparently I don't show y'all enough. And uh, I cut a little piece off, and I put some, <clears throat> excuse me, hot glue in it. And then I just flip that little piece down inside there, and it closes off that end. So you don't see any of the MDF board. And my beads, y'all, that twine was so weak when I stained all those beads. And I didn't need all those beads, but I'll have them for another time stain. It broke my twine, so I had to retwine them. And I'm taking out home decor uh, wood tent, and I'm going to distress my edges. And I'm going to give my um, little pumpkin some dimension to make it look more realistic. As realistic as a flat MDF pumpkin could look, I reckon. But that's what we're going to do. Anyway, and then I take a uh, paper towel and I put some thicker spots, just rub it on it to darken it up. And I think this looks good. It looks good. Anyway, maybe I could cut some of that out. But I take two of them little leaves from the Dollar Tree. Now, y'all, I saw this somewhere and I don't remember where. And if I remembered, I would absolutely post it and give credit where credit is due. But I saw it like one time and I was like, oh, I love that. And that thing has just stayed with me. And I think. This is how it's kind of made, but I think I messed up. But I took wood filler and filled my little holes. And then I'm taking those little words come from the Dollar Tree and see them. And there's the SKU number. And um, I'm going to use the welcome foil. Now, the foil part, I'm going to paint in that pumpkin orange by Waverly. And then the welcome part, I'm going to use that vintage mustard. I love that stuff, y'all. It's my favorite yellow, yellow color. Y'all, I'm not fancy, and I'm, but I'm not stupid. Just because you hear me talk doesn't mean you can automatically deduct 50 IQ points from me. Um, yeah, so I just want to say that. And, yeah, so 
you can't judge a book by its cover or by its volume, I reckon. I don't know. But anyway, and I painted the um, that Tuscan red, the line down the center between the welcome and the fall, and I painted my leaves in that vintage mustard. Now, y'all, I learned later, but what I'd do if I were y'all, use like hot glue, uh, that gel, super glue, super hot glue, it's not hot glue, leave the hot glue out of it, super glue gel and put your word on because those are real tiny and it starts drying real quick and so yeah and that super glue sticks really fast and you're not going to have any issues with your little word letters whatever so i take some of those beads and i cut them down and i put it right there at the edge of my peduncle where i, where I made it drop down like kind of lower and um i actually wrap one piece of the cut jute over these uh See, because I tied the ends of those beads, a little knots in those beads, and I glued it down starting with that. Now, I didn't glue every bead because I didn't want, want it to look sloppy, but I tacked beads down all the way down through there. And you'll know which one's tacked down, trust me, because they'll be flopping everywhere. And then I'm just glad to some dimension, some veins to my little leaves. I think that looks cute with that um, home decor wood tint. Now, I'm going to use that in this whole video, so you'll hear it a lot, or I won't say it at all. But anyway, I'm going to hot glue my leaves that direction down at the end there and then i'm going to take the beads that i painted spray painted and i'm going to put them on the outer side and yeah i even put them like right at, right at the edge of my leaves there y'all see here in a minute you see two of them drop down it's so funny and i was like well i need to tack those down but you'll see i didn't put that tight that tight that side as tight as i did the other one so, I'm like, oh, man. But y'all can see what I'm doing. If I say something that confuses you, y'all see me doing it. But I got that ribbon there from the Dollar Tree. I think that stuff is beautiful. And I even don't mind that gold on the edge of it. And that one, I love that orange one. Been using it for two years. My two-year anniversary is coming up soon, y'all. And we have 16000 now here in our crazy little family. Kathy and the cat birds. Whoop, whoop. Anyway, I'm just making a bow. Just a little simple bow. And, um... I'm going to take a piece of that orange and cut it and glue it down. And then, yeah, I'll glue it down the center of that one. So the juke's not showing, just the bow part is. I guess I could have cut that out. But that's a different bow than I showed in my bow tutorial. And I make so many when I was doing that, I just forgot. Anyway, and then I'm going to take some Spanish moss. Mine had knots in it like a rat's nest, y'all. I mean, big clumps of, like, rat's nest stuff. Maybe maybe there's a, moss, a mouse in here. I don't know. I've never seen one, but maybe there's a mouse at the Dollar Tree where it came from. No, I'm just making that up. Anyway, so I hot glue that down, and I trim it all down. And um, then I glue my bone. I think I already said that once, and I didn't glue it on. Y'all, this thing is pretty, I think. And then I'm going to take some of that wire juke from the Dollar Tree. And I've had that for a long time, too, y'all. I'm trying to get rid of this stuff in my house. I bet I have 30 of those. No. Yeah, maybe 30 or 40 of just those flat pumpkin signs. All different ones from the Dollar Tree. And there ain't no sense in that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, my gosh. And, yeah, I could have cut this out. But I'm just going to take my wire juke. And I'm going to make me some little tendrils. Just wrap them around the end of that cricket pick or something. I don't know what it is. Now, my pumpkin's there. I wish I would have painted orange. But I didn't have that terracotta color in um, paint. You know what I mean? And I didn't. But still, it's cute, y'all. I, I love this thing. I just think it's adorable. Look at it. Isn't that cute? And I wish I knew where I'd saw this at. You can't even really see my leaves hanging down. Okay, y'all, here is the star of the show. You know how I made foil carrots? Well, we're going to make a foil pumpkin, and I love this, y'all. You see how I started it and just put a dent in the center, and I just keep wrapping more foil and more foil and pushing down with my thumbs right in the center there. See? You'll see it closer here in a second. And then, yeah, I just keep forming it with my hands how I want it to look, but I did keep the bottom flat because I didn't want it rocking and a rolling and a, you know, so, anyway, oh, I'm showing you here how I'm, I folded it. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I think y'all could have figured that out, but whatever, I did it. I'm trying to be nice, trying to make sure I show everything <laughs> the best I can. 
<laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. I don't mean that bad, y'all. I just say that being silly, and it's funny because it's probably what I think if I saw somebody else doing it. No, I'm not like that. Anyway, so I, you could make it that wood look if you wrap it in that uh, crafting paper from the Dollar Tree, but not me. I'm going to hot glue um, uh, polyfill to it or a pillow. I don't know which one I'm pulling from, but I think that's the pillow, but... And I hot glue that all around. Now, y'all don't have to hot glue this together. Look, because you can reuse it. Look, y'all, this was intelligent, brilliant. Sometimes I'm just too smart for my own good. See, I compliment myself, but I'm being sarcastic. It's the good Lord that gives me the mind to do any of this. I give it all to God. But anyway, so I'm just going to take stick pins, and you won't even be able to see the heads of them in the collar. And I'm just going to pull my fabric up. Look. So you can change this every year if you don't want that anymore. Or if you want to use your fabric for something else, undo it. And then find something else to repin it with next year. And I just keep pulling it up and putting stick pins in it. I tried to do it slow. Now, I do tuck some areas and pull it up. And, y'all, because I wanted a bigger pumpkin than my little um, orange one. And I had, you know, the ones you get from Dollar Tree. And I had one, but Jesse ate it last year in my turkey that came with it. So I got out of... A goodwill but you know that's just how the cookie crumbles but see i'll tuck here and i'll stick pins like down below you'll see here in a minute because i want y'all know how to do this because no hot glue y'all this was just i don't know this is crazy see i stuck i stick two of them in the side there you can't even see it then i'm gonna pull what's left yeah see there pull it up over onto the top pin that in there and y'all you gotta Aluminum foil pumpkin. And then I take um, eight strands of some uh, nautical rope. The thin one from the Dollar Tree. I believe it's eight. It's six or eight. But I'm leaning more towards eight. <laughs> and I just did this Tuesday and already forgot. Um, there's four. I don't know why I showed y'all this. Y'all could have cut that out too. See? I don't know about me. Oh, jeez, y'all. I'm so glad y'all love me and I love you. We're family, though, ain't we? Anyway, so, no, I lied. It was six. So, anyway, I'm a big fat liar. And I take the remainder of that juke from the deal I just did, and I start wrapping it around my uh, nautical rope that I cut off there, y'all. Just wrapping, 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 wrap. And see, you could, if you don't want to keep this peduncle... You can even um, undo that and reuse your jute um, during Christmas or something. Because crafting stuff gets expensive, y'all. And anyway, so yeah, I'm just going to wrap it until I get it how I want it. Uh, sorry. You, okay. And then, yeah, twist it upside down because I want my little, uh, that thing to be at the bottom. And y'all will see why. And then I'm going to take my little Cricut pick thing here. And I'm going to make me a little tendril. Um, I think. Maybe eventually. It's a long one. And wrap and wrap and wrap. But my pumpkin's a decent size, y'all. I love this thing. And I sit down in there. And you're not going to believe it. It's no hot glue or nothing. I put a stick pin down in it. <laughs> right through that nautical rope. And look at that. And then there just happened to be a big old green leaf laying there. I stuck that on there. And here she is, and she is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. No hot glue. No, I just can't believe it. And she's decent size. Look at her. Okay, y'all. Now, this one is kind of like, eh, but I did it. So, anyway, I just take that uh, ticking shop ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to put some stuffing in it. I was trying to make one of them short fat ones, you know what I mean, short, thin ones, you know what I'm talking about, and I saw one with Tick and Stripe at the Hobby Lobby, but I think I'm just going to do another foil one, I'm a little bit smaller, and I'm just putting rubber bands around it right there, and, um, pulling it tight, and, but then I pull it back out to try to make it flatter, it's kind of funny looking, I need to redo it, I'll have it looking good, and then I'll tug and push and pull at it, and I'll mess it up again, but I'm just going to take that white jute right there now, um, white, white nautical rope, sorry. And I'm going to tie a piece on it. No, just tie the whole entire piece. Yeah. And then, what's left over, I'm going to take and wrap all the way up my stem there. Now, again, 
no hot glue, no, what else? I don't even know what I'm saying. And just wrap it and wrap it and wrap it. And then when I get to the very top of the peduncle, I think I should have used brown jute. That would look better than the white. I tuck it over and I put pins in it. <laughs> I don't know why it's tickled me so much, y'all. But, yeah, this one could be better. But this is just an idea I want to show y'all. I should have taken more time and worked it in nicer and had more pride in my work. But then again, like I said, I kept fooling with it after the fact and made it worse. So, anyway, and I just took a leaf. Oh, I do what was left over where I tied that knot. I separated those and made them look like little tendrils laying down there. And I took that leaf and stuck that up under it. And there it is, y'all. Look. Well... And you still have your fabric to use and your nautical rope. Okay, y'all, this was a long one, and I don't know about this one. I'm on and off the fence, but uh, I, uh, just bear with me. So, I'm going to take some Mod Podge. Now, y'all, this wood sucked up the Mod Podge. I mean, it drank it. And uh, Jess wanted me to come and sit down. And I always put a light coat. Y'all wonder, uh, how light? Well, that light. And I will scoop it up off with my brush. To make sure I don't, it's not thick and lines and clumpy on there. Look at that face I'm making. That's pretty. Anyway, so, and then I'm going to take this paper. And I got to piece it together because it's the small one from the Hobby Lobby. And it just was not big enough for my big old leaf. And then, yeah, so I just pieced it together. And it's funny because I hid that line where it was pieced together. And you couldn't even tell that I'd done that. And then later I, um... Uh, highlight it to make it look, yeah. Anyways, that's drying. I'm taking that little leaf from the Dollar Tree, and that's just adorable. I fill my holes, and then I'm going to take three small ones like that and fill my holes. Now, I like to take a wet wipe after I put the um, wood putty in and wipe over top of it with the wet wipe. It dries faster. Okay. You're going to want to use gloves with this wood tint, y'all, because it stains your hands. And I just put some on one, and I wipe it off with um, a wet wipe. And I do this with all four of those leaves. And I want to make sure you, you saw how I was doing it with all four of them. Now, I got that paper pad from Michael's, and I use it two times in this video. And that cardstock right there came out of that book. And I got it last year. It was two books for $9.99. And... I've only used one piece of paper. I love it. So, see, i got to use this stuff, y'all. Now, I traced out my little leaves, but I cut it about a fourth inch inside the line because I want that tint to show out around the edge. And I just put a really, really light coat of Mod Podge on them. You can see that better right there because it's dark. And I lay my leaves down. And then um, I take that vintage mustard and I paint one of the slats. I take cashew and just dry, a heavy dry brush over another one. And then I'm taking uh, agave there and doing it. This is all Waverly paint except the vintage mustard and that Tuscan red down the end. Um, it's folk or home decor. And then I take that pumpkin orange by Waverly. Now, um, I cut off the bulk of that paper and then I'm cutting it down with my, my uh, knife there. Make sure you got a sharp blade on there. Um, that first one had glue on it, and it was just ripping the tar on my paper. But then I sand down the edges, and then I change my mind. I sand around the edges on top of it. And, Jackie, I use your finger sander. That one's got fine sandpaper on it, and the other one has coarse. And then I take that, again, wood tint by Folk Art. Love that stuff. And go around the edges of my leaf to distress it, make it look all rustic because i like the rustic look especially for fall even christmas though it's all cozy to me like that anyway so i put some on top of my leaf and there you go and then my other little leaves i sand them down the same way and yeah because i want it to look all old and i think my papers weren't coordinating enough maybe that's why and i came up with this goofy idea all because of those rub on transfers <laughs> And then I'm putting some. Always wrap your brushes in cellophane, uh, saran wrap, whatever y'all call it. And you can use them for like every week. Just keep them wrapped up real tight. As soon as you get done using it, lay your brush in there and make sure it's wet. 
So I got those leaves that were going to transfer from the Dollar Tree because I thought this would be cute. And I guess I could have just done that one leaf, but no, not me. i got to be extra, of course. And I'm going to scrape on, just lay it down there and start scraping on leaves. Now, it did take two packs of those for this. I think I need to add some music. I am quiet once in a blue moon, like if I'm taking a drink because I get really thirsty. Anyway... Yeah, and whatever I had left get left over on there I used. And then um, I took that other pack and just cut a few out and filled in the spot there. Oh. Yeah, see? Anyway. Anyway. Oh, and then I cover it with Mod Podge again. I thought if I put Mod Podge on it the first time, maybe it'd fill some of them holes in the wood and it would go on easier. All right, well, it stuck good, so I don't know. So, I got one of those little planks from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to stain it. Take everything off of it. And then I cut this out on my Cricut. It was in the Cricut Design Space, and I cut it as a stencil. And I'm going to paint the F in the Vintage Mustard. I'm going to paint the A in, um, we'll see together. We'll be surprised. Oh, the orange. <laughs> and then, um... Then we're going to use celery. I love that color. And then all of those are uh, Waverly except for the vintage mustard. And then I like to peel it off when it's wet, y'all. Because sometimes if it dries and you go to pick your stencil up, it pulls the paint off with it. Yeah. So, there you go. And I'm going to take green and orange and blue and yellow baker's twine all from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to twist it all together. And I'm going to wrap it down here on its end to cover up my holes. Now, um, here in a minute, I thought, well, that's too bright after I did it. Just use jute, y'all. Um, that would look better. And then I end up putting that wood tint across my words to dull down that color some. And, um, on my, on my baker's twine, because it was just too bright for what I was going for here. Which, truly, I'm not even sure. <laughs> Pop came on my nose. Anyway, I did that leaf right there. I didn't show y'all, because I needed one more, and it was a bit smaller. And I plucked all that stuff off, and I put... Um, paper from Hobby Lobby on it, too. And I'm just going to stack up my little leaves here on a... Um, tomato steak from the Dollar General that I've had for over a year, too. See, y'all? Anyway, I'm going to take hot glue and wood glue, and I'm going to glue my leaves down that, down that tree, down that, that pole steak. There we go. And, and then, and I was going to put staples in it but i didn't i changed my mind because this is <clears throat> gonna be outside i should add some staples to it i'm sure y'all didn't need to see that you know how to glue things to things but you know i just want to be sure because y'all y'all i love y'all y'all anyway i really that was stupid i don't really have Anybody I talk to other than my my children and my husband and my mom and daddy and I very seldom ever talk to anybody but I talk to y'all I do talk to people talk to people at church but and you know I love my church family but I don't really just I don't do much outside of that and y'all are like my release y'all y'all are just I hope y'all see what I'm doing because I'm just talking. Yeah, I put two little leaves at the top. Anyway, sorry, y'all. I got on a tangent there. And I'm going to take that bucket I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take this noodle. Uh, pool noodle. And I cut it. And I want a little bit to stick up off tough Because I want a lot to be able to hold that um, tomato steak down. Now, I didn't. I put a lot of hot glue on it. I should have cut that end off my tomato steak. And I didn't. And I was going to have forgot. So I could have hot glued it down. But no, not me. I got to do everything hard. So I cut that piece and start shoving it in there. And then I, um, take another piece of, um, that. I got floral foam. That stuff is hard as rock I got from the Dollar Tree. And I just start putting pieces down in there. Now, I want my, 
my poo noodle to be closer towards the back because I want to get a lot of florals in the front. And um, see how I did that? And then I was like, oh, no. You should have added the rocks first, goofball. So then I did get some rocks from the Dollar Tree after I'm finished shoving tons of foam down in there and um, put it in there. I know it looks it's leaning forward right now, but I fixed that um, with rocks. Yeah, I was one big rock in my pack, and I just stick them in there for the weight, for the weight, for the weight. See that big rock right there? That was huge. That came in that bag. That's crazy, ain't it? Anyway, and then I start sticking flowers in there, and hot bush, and blue leaves, and then I lose the footage. Um, I don't know what happens. I go all the way around the thing. And this monstrosity is three feet tall, y'all. I'm only 4'11", and it's probably tall. It's tall. It is so tall. <laughs> Look at that. And I just don't know about it. I'm like, that's the weirdest Frankenstein you've ever made. This beats the Florfendorf, y'all. And I don't know. We'll just call that Frankenstein. Yeah, because I'm just not sure about it. Anyway, right here, I'm going to take that little velvet pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. And, I mean, see, I always steal the stems. I used the stems a lot last year. So, I'm going to have to buy more pumpkins just to have those beautiful stems. But, anyway, I end up not even using it. And, I'm just going to cut the tag off. Now, Jackie, these are easy to paint. <laughs> I stick a, a, a that down in it. A, a, a dowel rod and just start painting it and you're going to have to give it sometimes three coats two or three coats and it's like painting glass the smoothness of it but you don't mess it up like you do the glass anyway and i'm going to take that little pumpkin and i'm going to take the stem out of it and take the its coat off it's uh i'm gonna cut that felt off of it yeah i don't know what i'm doing here y'all Oh, I'm going to take that leather, uh, faux leather from the Dollar Tree. That's the one I found when I drove the 100 miles. And I'm going to cut it in one-inch strips with my paper cutter there. Because, y'all, I can't cut a straight line. I mean, you could use, like, um, a ruler and your, uh, uh, fabric roller, fabric blade, roller blade. I don't, roller blade. <laughs> That's something you do in the park, ain't it? Anyway... And I'm going to wrap it around my pumpkin here. Now, listen, this is very important. Try to do it on the humps. On the humps. I started off uh, in the crevices, and that did not serve me well. So I go in, have to redo it, and do it on the humps. My hump, my hump, my hump. Anyway, because <clears throat> when I did it in the crevices... And then I go back and do it on the humps. There's gaps all in it. So if you do it on the humps, and then you go back and put it in the crevices, it smashes it all down and holds it all down. Trust me. Yeah, it's, yeah. That's, that's, that's why I left so much this in, so I can explain that to y'all. Yeah. You could cut it the other way and have it longer, but you're not going to have as much. You'll run out. Um, I don't know. I used at least three-fourths of it on just this one little pumpkin. And I only bought one roll of it, which I kind of like, oh, I need more. But see, that's just my problem. I don't need more. But maybe I will. You don't know. Anyway, and I take a little stick from the Dollar Tree, of course, y'all, and I shove it down in the hole. Mm. See the top of it there? You got to cover that up because that's just ugly. So I take some raffia and I shred it down and... and cut it down, and I just tied around my peduncle, and I and I pulled apart and thin it out, because I like that look better, and I'm going to take um, some jute and make a little bow, and I spread my fingers, I think I'll show y'all later, and I wrap it around ten times, and then I put a, 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 a gingham bow on it, and then I'm going to take those little tiny white daisies and put it on it, and this is so cute, y'all. So cute. And, and a lot of people doing farmhouse, they're like, I don't want the leather. But it still, look at it. I mean, that to me is just adorable. I just love her. Maybe we'll call that a him because he's a leather. I don't know. That made no sense. But any cute? Look at him. 
And Hobby Lobby has leather pumpkins, and I can't find the leather pumpkins at the Dollar Tree, which, truth be told, I think that's prettier than the plain, the funny-looking leather Dollar Tree. But if I find some, I will buy them. But I plan on tying jute around to make them look better. And somebody may beat me to that now that I said it, but hey, what do you do? Anyway, this one is dedicated to Miss Pat Boya and Miss Deborah Broussard. They sent me these napkins, and this one Pat sent me. I've been waiting to use since last year. She sent it after it got here after I started my Christmas DIYs, y'all. And I'm like, oh, this pumpkin. But I'm showing you how to remove all that paper if you want. Just spritz it down, a little bit of water, and take your Cricut scraper and scrape it off. You can even lay a damp paper towel on it, and it comes right off. And I'm going to give them two coats of rust on and white chalk paint. And that that napkin, y'all, that napkin is from Deborah, And that one is from Pat, y'all. And they're both McKenzie Child. You guys, I'm, oh, my heart, y'all, my heart. Y'all just too good to me. Whew, I'm sentimental today, or just mental. But anyway, um, I take a piece of um tape. And look, it took both, that napkin was so easy to come apart. It took both plies off that napkin. Yeah. And I did the same for the other one. Mm-hmm. And then, look, I, I was too much Mod Podge right there, but I'm going to thin, see, I'm, well, that had a chunk of something in it. But I'm going to thin this out, y'all, really, 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 really thin. And y'all can see there how thin it is. And I got the bulk of that Mod Podge still on that brush. And then, look, I lay my napkin down and go slow. And then I pat it down just a dab, pull it up, and I do the other side. And again, I use too much Mod Podge, so I just pull the bulk of it off with my brush. Very, very thin layer. It's a napkin. It don't take much. And I got my saran wrap ready, y'all. I throw it down on there, and I start rubbing it out. And it gets the wrinkles. I love it, y'all. It, it's perfect. Well, not perfect. Nothing's perfect. But it's really, really good. Anyway, and look at me. See? And I put my go down fine little wrinkles. Just push them out. And then I pull that up. I fold that in half. Mod Podge against Mod Podge. You don't want to wipe it twice in the same spot with Mod Podge on it. Not a lot of Mod Podge. Like the little tiny spots. And there I'm just dabbing it. I want to show y'all how I do this. And setting that one side to dry. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one. And I start from the bottom because I want that border that's on that. See that? That's so pretty, y'all. I don't know much about Mackenzie Child. But come on, y'all. Mm. You have to appreciate those napkins. They're just beautiful. And look, I double saran wrap that one. I've never done that before. But I was trying to be so careful. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, everybody, for the things you send me. I try to use it all and utilize it. And for the most part, I can remember everything anybody's ever sent me. I'm not saying that will continue, but I try. But look at that napkin. Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful. Okay. So, I let them dry. And then I dry them with my heat tool so I don't let them dry. I dry them. And then I just sand off the edges. Mm-hmm. Very, very so, ever so, ever so lightly. See, Jackie, there's my little finger sander you sent me. Jackie Corns. So well, I take that. That's me. Those are you guys. I love you guys. I really do. I truly do. I take that little bless word. <laughs> bless word from the Dollar Tree, and I paint it white with the rust and Lynn white chop paint. And then I take this blue, or blue, Purple watered down paint, and then some black watered down paint, and some gold paint. And I try to give the lines in it that the napkin had. I mean, I don't know how good I did, but I tried. Yeah. But I did it. I hope I did it some justice. Anyway, um, and then I poked the holes out where my holes were for my tag. Anyway. Look, I got some purple and black paint with my dirty fingers on. I was so devastated. And then I was like, I put my blessed there. But I didn't want to put my blessed there. I wanted to put it on the side down there in the corner. And I'm like, what to do? What to do? So I took a very light bit of white rust oil and white chalk paint and painted over my spots. I think the best I could. I didn't want to mess it up. And there I'm taking super glue 
gel, gel super glue, whatever, and I'm gluing my little bless word on. That was stuck in like, I don't know, 10 seconds, y'all. It was on there. And I'm going to take black and white baker's twine. I've seen some Mackenzie Child things, and I think that they're they're cute. They're they're loud, you know what I'm saying? She wants everybody to know she was there. Oh, no. Anyway, um, and, but it's cute. I it just, yeah. If you like bright colors, there you go, y'all. And I'm just going to hot glue my tags together after I put my, my baker's twine in there and do a lark's head knot. Push that down real good. And then I'm going to take this, this, this ribbon I got from the Walmart last year at Christmas time. It was only like $1.97. And I think it's kind of loud and wild like that. Um, this is the Harlequin print, this ribbon I got, I think. Anyway, I don't even know. Um, and I just thought in that other ribbon with that Chevron print I got from the Dollar Tree. And I thought those would look cute on there together. Now, I have a dilemma. I, I made, I stained some solo wood flowers for my sign. My legs are completely sleepy. I'm about ready to slide right on my chair. Oh no, I can't even feel my feet. Anyway, sorry. Um, if you guys would like, I'd love for you to subscribe. That would be awesome. And, um, uh, just give me a thumbs up if you don't want to subscribe. I would appreciate that. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all's comments. You, you all just mean so much to me. And I know I'm I'm the worst about clicking the little heart or responding. But I get so many amazing comments. And I start reading them. And I get wrapped up in it. And it just, I mean... And I need to click the hearts, but I feel like that's being rude if I click a heart and don't say anything back. And I know I've said this before, but I just don't know, y'all. And I don't want to be rude to anybody, and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. And that is never, ever my intent. And I want y'all to know how much you absolutely mean to me and how much I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you. And this journey has been phenomenal. If God takes me to more, then he's going to take me a happy girl. But I love y'all, and I mean it. So, anyway, I'm just going to hot glue my bow down there. <laughs> that wasn't even on purpose. I didn't mean to leave that bow making there in, but I did. That's something I could have deleted. And see that little purple? I, I stained the bottom of it black and top of it purple, but I think it was just too purple. I don't know. Y'all Mackenzie Childsers can tell me. I kept wanting to call them Destiny Child napkins, and <laughs> I was like, why do I keep saying that? But anyway, it's Mackenzie Child. I take me some eucalyptus, two little leaves. Y'all know I love eucalyptus. And eucalyptus is on that little picture. And I hot glue underneath my bow. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. And see, I'm like, mm, is that too bright? Mm. I thought of using more muted purple, but it really stained purple. So I take this little white. It looks like a beech nut shell. It's from the stuff for Christmas last year. And I glued that in a little tiny pine cone in there because it snows in the fall. But anyway, look at this, y'all. Oh, look at her. Oh, my gosh. What do you all think of her? I mean, even if you don't like Mackenzie Child, you got to admit, that's cute. That's wild. <clears throat> yeah. And I showed y'all her a lot because I really liked her. Anyway, okay, right here. I take that uh, fabric from the Dollar Tree, that um, farmer, farmer one, farmhouse one, that's the black with the white lettering. It's got little chickens and pigs and cows and stuff on it. And I cut them at 14 inches. And then at one inch strips, um, I, I circled 15 there, but it wasn't, it was 14. And then I cut them in half. So I got me some seven inch strips. Here again, y'all, this pumpkin is hard because some of those humps are far apart and other of them, other of them, the other ones are close together. See, I tell y'all I'm not stupid and I say stuff like the other of them. Anyway, that sounds like I don't even know what the other of them. I'm going to start saying that now. Anyway, um,. Y'all, every one of y'all talked about my floor from door for me laugh so hard. But anyway, go on the outside of, again, go on the humps of your pumpkin. And I'm going to do that around the best I can because there's some humps in the back that's so close together. It's just like, this is crazy. What am I going to do with all these humps? See how close them all were? 
And then I was like, well, oh well. We'll figure it out. So I did. So I take that um, buffalo check uh, fabric from the Dollar Tree. And the ones that was close together, I cut in. It was an inch wide. But it two blocks is what we're going to call it. Because two blocks covered the sum of it. But then the other ones, here I'm going to show you. I had to cut three blocks over. You see that? And I know there's different. Um, <laughs> I know three blocks. Or, or what if you get the big one? I don't know. Probably two and a half inch or one and a half inch strips because the the one inch strip would not cover the width of those humps that were far apart. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. Oh no. I'm trying to explain it the best I can, y'all. <laughs> it's so stupid. My humps again. Oh gee whiz. I wouldn't advise this, but I did burn the strings off mine. Because there was little strings everywhere. Mm. Here, I'm just showing you again. Three, two, three, two, three, two. I don't know why I showed you so many times. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> oh, shoot. Anyway, I just glued me a stick down on there, of course. <clears throat> Good gravy. I found one that was crooked. <laughs> crooked. <laughs> and I... I like that look, so I glued him on there. And I'm going to take some, oh, I'm so sorry, pit berries, the white pit berries from the, oh, shoot, Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to wrap it around my my little peduncle, y'all. And then I put that on. Don't use that, because that is loud. It, you know, I, and I wanted something bright, but that wasn't doing it, because I'm like, that looks so stupid. Those polka dots with those checks and, well, it's kind of Mackenzie Childsy. I reckon I could have done that. I don't know. Y'all tell me again. I don't know much about Mackenzie Child. I've seen some of the stuff, but anyway, I'm like, nope, that ain't jiving. So, here's how I make that bow, y'all. I spread my fingers apart because I got tiny, goofy sausage fingers. And I wrap it around ten times. Ten times. And it's how I made my flowers in the past out of jew. And, and you do cut it, but I don't know why I was waiting. Wait, no. Oh, my editing is terrible. This must have been part of the me falling asleep yesterday and messing it all up. Who gee whiz, y'all. I don't know how you even <laughs> sat through this with me. <laughs> anyway, I put those lines close together where I started and ended it because I don't want to look like it's got double tails. And I, and I cut off a piece and I double knotted in the middle of it. Now... Oh, jeez. I can't stop laughing. I literally have tears rolling down my face. And then I spread it apart. See? Just pull my little um, hoops apart. <laughs> hoops apart. It makes the cutest little juke bow. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Oh, gosh. I made them, like, years ago. Well, I say years ago, like I've been on YouTube a year or two. That didn't make no sense. It is almost two years. Anyway, and I took that... that farming again a uh, ribbon from the dollar tree and put it over my little juke bow and then i stuck some pretty yellow sunflowers in there that i got many sunflowers from the walmart for like something crazy the quarter piece for a bushel anyway that's cute y'all okay y'all i think this is my absolute favorite i don't know i like a couple of them in here i take them eggs from easter time them little wooden eggs i'm going to remove the sticker and i'm painting the whole thing in celery chalk paint by waverly now i did this last year with a dupe now that book again is that book that came from michael's and i'm going to take two different pieces of scrapbook and paper cardstock whatever it is that stuff is thick this gave me a devil of a time and two of them i'm going to trace out with that <clears throat> that green flannel look that or uh that's pretty anyway and that one, I just put a little tiny line and another little line on the paper so I know which one went with what. And then that one, I put a little C, I don't know why, on the center because I knew it was center. But I'm just going to cut those out. Now, I trace them from the back. And then I just used the purple glue stick and glued them on. And uh, that paper fought me. Look at that. It was so thick. Now, y'all, I wanted your opinion. Now, if I put it straight up and down, it's cute. It still looks like a pumpkin. But if you tilted it on the inside, it looked all cute in a different pattern. So, y'all tell me what you think. I kind of like the cute, like, crookedy, leaning in, like, kind of, see, that way. 
But anyway, I did a Hobby Lobby dupe um, last year with the uh, eggs from the Dollar Tree. I'd made a big old pumpkin, and I put it in my thumbnail and in my video at the end when I showed everything and forgot to put the DIY in there. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's me, y'all. Anyway, I didn't glue those together, per se. I just put a lot of glue on the top and glued my center piece on there. Again, I'm going to use a stick from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> we had six trees cut down in our yard, y'all, and now I can't find a stick anywhere. <laughs> it's crazy. I've got the giggles now. It's just not going in. And anyway, I put a ton of hot glue in there. Throw that up. This will be so cute for a tear tray. Actually, a few DIYs I do here at the end are really good for tear trays. And I take a, um, a tumbling tower block and I lean that up like a kickstand there. Kickstand. I miss riding my motorcycle, y'all. I miss it so much. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry. I'm so sorry. That was gross, but I told y'all I'm getting sick again. Anyway, see how I propped that up there? Well, that's going to work perfect, but I, I take another tumbling tower block and I cut it in half with my miter shears. Some of those cut like butter and other ones, you got to put some back in it. And I cut it in half and glued a piece down there to hold my kickstand on there real good because I wanted, because it's at an angle and I didn't know if it was attached enough to, to hold on, you know what I mean? And I stick that up in there. Oh, goodness. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. And I take that um, ribbon that Miss Shelly sent me. It's so pretty. She sent that to me last year for Christmas. And I make a little bow. And I put that on there. And there it is. And I love her. I do. I do. I do. I do. Look how pretty she is. Look how pretty she is. Okay. One of them little houses Miss Jackie Carnes sent me. I don't. I couldn't find those at my store. But she sent me one. And I'm like, oh. So I take that... Um, Hobby Lobby paper, and I cut out those little, uh, I cut out the frame, I trace it, <laughs> and anyway, and I'm going to put that down in there, that's it, that's simple, put the back on it, flip it around, I'm going to take the little pack of trucks that Miss Carolyn sent me, love you girl, I love all y'all, and I'm going to take one, that, look, you get 12 little trucks in there, and I'm going to hot glue that to the front of my glass and I'm going to hot glue it on there crooked because that's just how I do things um that's my signature move crooked stuff and I'll take little that little teeny tiny box wood from the Dollar Tree and I hot glue two pieces on it and make a little uh gingham bow and uh dovetail it and send the ends of it and there it is isn't that cute y'all and I think that wood and that frame it match really close okay y'all right here I got that little house from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is take my finger knife and cut out the paper attached to an inside box. And slice down the side there because it's easier to push out. And then I'm going to paint the inside of it with celery chalk paint by Waverly. And then I'm going to mix that um, orange and cashew together <clears throat> by Waverly to make that peachy color. And I'm going to paint my little pumpkin, one of them little wood pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to take nautical blue and paint the outside of my house and the outside rim of the front of my house. Mm. There. Those are so pretty. So I'm going to take those rubble transfers from the Dollar Tree. And there's a little like swag piece with pumpkins and leaves on it. It's so pretty, y'all. And I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to put that on the bottom of my pumpkin. Mm-hmm. And then, um... Man, I had a hard time getting at the stick to that. I don't know why. I think it's where the wood is, like, kind of rough and it got the dents in it or whatever. And I took that Hello Autumn off of there and I um, transferred it on there. I love these rubble on transfers. And I took a little bird. Oh, my goodness. And uh, two little acorns. <clears throat> and y'all, y'all need to see that. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That is beautiful. Anyway... And then I take one of them brain teaser squares that came out of that game. And I hot glue it to the back of it. And a teeny, teeny, tiny jute bow to the top of it. And then I am going to take... Because I painted the back of it white. Sorry, y'all. <clears throat> I'm going to take extra of the um, transfers and just put it on the back of my thing there. Make my own little scrapbooking paper. And I'm going to take a piece of cardstock. And I'm going to trace out the back because we're going to make it a double-sided sign. 
Woo, that's a lot of words right there. And then I'm going to take the pumpkin transfers and just randomly put them where I want them on there. Yep, so let's say I make my own scrapbook paper. Yeah, and if you can't find those stickers, you can just use that paper from the Dollar Tree. They got beautiful fall paper there. And for the people who don't go to Hobby Lobby and don't want to buy paper, because it is expensive. Now, 69 cents for one sheet, and I never find it on sale. Anyway, I'm going to take my purple glue stick and hot glue my cardstock to that and then rub it down. And then I'm going to take Aileen's Tacky Glue. Because every time I do it with hot glue, I get it crooked. And I'm just going to hot glue it. And that stuff dries fast, y'all. And it dries clear. And you can get that at the Dollar Tree. That's where I got that bottle. And I'm going to glue my little pumpkin in there. And then I'm going to paint that back side where, you know. And then I'm going to take that rub on transfer there, that thankful. And I'm going to put it on there. And I'll put it on there crooked as a dog's hind leg. And then, and now and then. And then I'm going to take jute. And I'm going to just barely tack it down to the front of my thing so I can see where it's laying by my pumpkin. And I'm going to wrap it around my little house. And I'm going to leave a piece and bring it back to the back. And I'm going to tie a little bow in it. Woo! Y'all, there's a way to slow this down if you need to. Up in the um, top right-hand corner, there's three little dots. And if you click on it, it will slow that down. I will be talking like this low. Anyway, and I hot glue that jute from the Walmart around the sign, except on the bottom, because I want it to set flush. <clears throat> then I take those little pumpkins Miss Pat Boyer sent me last year, and I paint them in the four colors that I painted the house in, and that front pumpkin. And I'm going to paint that stem in truffle chalk paint, all of them. And I'm going to take three little bales of hay from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> this is so cute, y'all. And I'm going to glue them to the back of my little sign, Double-sided for your top of your tear tray. So, you got something on both sides. And we're going to take all these little pumpkins that I painted. And I'm going to clip the stems off of them. And I'm going to... Oh, look. I leave the dumbest stuff in. That's just me, y'all. And I'm going to hot glue that one cattywampus because I thought it looked cute. And then the other one I'm going to glue just a little bit crooked. And then I'm going to put one on the top of it. And then I got one more I'm going to put down beside the bales of hay against the picture. And y'all, <laughs> look how cute that is. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty that side is, that bird. That is beautiful, y'all. Mm. Here is everything. Finally, the end. I know, right? I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I sure enjoyed doing it. I'm again sorry it's so long. If you have to, take three days to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, please have a blessed weekend. Um, just stay happy and be blessed and remain a crazy hot mess, y'all. I love y'all. I'll see you later. Bye. So let me tell you why my video is late. Um, I'm sick again. I know you're like, it's like whatever. But yeah, I can't stand that glare. But um, anyway, so I was sitting yesterday evening and I was editing or, yeah, editing my video, <laughs> and somehow, I fell asleep, and I don't know, I guess I just kept twitching or something, I don't know what happened, because I had my finger on the, the, the screen, and it just started deleting stuff, man, and I was like, no, you know what I mean, and then I woke up, and I got it all fixed, and I dozed off again, and my husband's sitting there watching it all go down, and not saying anything, so, anyway, um, <laughs> uh, it got bad. I didn't, I just kept going. And then it was over. And I just, just, yeah. So he had to help me figure out how to get all my stuff. I thought I lost it, man. I thought I lost it all. And I was losing my mind as if I got much to lose anyway. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. So yeah, that's what happened. And let's just hope it don't happen. Okay. Okay. Bye.